Hey guys, this is going to be my review of the Ogallala Bay Rum Cologne. So Ogallala Bay Rum is out of Ogallala, Nebraska, and they say that they may have claimed to the original Bay Rum Cologne scent, whatever you want to call it. Not sure about that, not going to get into that here, but uh, this is absolutely a company that, that makes a fantastic Bay Rum that they're very, very well known for. So I have it here in the cologne. They offer the aftershave, the cologne, and then their like special double reserve, very, very strong stuff. And they kind of go in that order of increasing uh, you know, intensity. Aftershave, cologne, special reserve cologne. So I have kind of like the middle one here, the cologne, which can be used as an aftershave or a cologne. And this comes here in this beautiful blue bottle. Nice screwed top on there. No dabber tops, so you have to be careful when using it. This is just a very, very beautiful blue bottle four fluid ounces, and you can pick this up for $12.50 from their website, so it's absolutely a great deal. I'm going to go through the ingredient list here for you guys. So the ingredients are witch hazel, pretty neat that's based in witch hazel. Witch hazel has very, very nice conditioning properties, uh, so it's a little bit different than an alcohol-based one. But then the second ingredient is alcohol, then water, bay oil, then oils of clove bud, lime, sage, rosemary, ginger, orange, cinnamon leaf, and wintergreen. So as you can see, it's a very, very complex uh, bay rum scent, you can tell from the ingredient list. It's got lots of things going on. I get the, the orange in there, the wintergreen, some like the rosemary. Very, very nice, uh, you know, expansive scent behind just the typical bay rum scent. Um, but it definitely comes off very, very strong in clove. I think that that's something that Ogallala is known for, that they have a very, very strong clove kick to their bay rum. So if you don't prefer clove, I would definitely stay away from this bay rum because you probably won't like this one. Uh, but I love uh, the clove scent, and I absolutely love this bay rum. Great scent. It's got kind of a classic scent, but it just has that more, you know, diverse scent profile standing behind the classic bay rum. So it definitely stands out there by itself. It has a nice sweetness to it that I think it gets from the orange, but then you still have like the bay rum clove kick there overall. Very, very nice scent. So I've been using this as an aftershave, has great properties, definitely gives you a good burn. I can't imagine what the double reserve gives you. I'm really suspecting that'd be quite a burn, uh, much like the Cat of Nine Tails from Captain's Choice. Um, but anyway, this is very nice, it's got a really nice classic scent to it. You put it on, definitely sticks with you all day, it gives you that nice scent. Uh, it's very strong on the clove, so beware of that. I happen to like the clove scent that uh, Bay Rum's often associated with, so I don't mind it at all, but this could be something that you might not like. Anyway, really great product, beautiful, kind of has this classic old school label on there. It just looks nice thing out. That blue bottle is very, very beautiful, kind of an old apothecary style uh, color to it. So anyway, I like this stuff a lot. You know, if you like bay rums and, you know, you consider yourself a bay rum connoisseur, I think that this is something that you need to have or at least experience so you know what Ogallala is like because it's, uh, it's absolutely a classic bay rum scent out there that I enjoy very much. So please let me know if you've used this, if you like it, if you don't, and please let me know about your clove experience because I always hear that people, some people hate cloves, and a few people mention that to me. I've heard that some people have reactions to clove too, so please let me know if you have a reaction to clove. I'm interested to hear that also. As always, thank you for watching.